Hello guys. Today in this video, I am going to share with you information about the TCP segment header. Figure shows TCP segment. Every segment begins with a fixed format 20 byte header. The fixed header may be followed by header options. After the options, if any, up to 65535 minus 20 minus 20 is equal to 65495 data bytes may follow. Where first 20 bytes refers to the IP header and the second 20 bytes refers to the TCP header. Segments without any data are legal segments and such segments are commonly used for acknowledgements and control messages. Let us discuss the TCP header field by field. The source port and the destination port fields identifies the local endpoints of the connection. A port plus its port's IP address forms a 48-bit unique endpoint. The source and destination endpoints together identifies the connection. The sequence number and acknowledgement number fields performs their usual functions. Note that Acknowledgement number specifies the next byte expected, not the last byte correctly issued. Both fields are 32 bits long because every byte of the data is numbered in a TCP stream. The TCP header length tells how many 32 bit words are contained in the TCP header. This information is needed because the options field of the vari is of variable length and so the header is also of variable length. Next comes 6-bit field that is not used. Now there are 6 1-bit tags. URG flag is set to 1 if the urgent pointer is in use. The urgent pointer is used to indicate a byte offset from the current sequence number at which the urgent data can be found. The AC key bit is set to 1 to indicate that the acknowledgement number is valid. If AC key is 0, the segment does not contain an acknowledgement so the acknowledgement number field is ignored. The push bit indicates pushed data. The receiver is hereby kindly requested to deliver the data to the application upon arrival and not buffer it until a full buffer has been issued. The arrest bit is used to reset a connection because it has issued suppose a confuse due to host crash or some other reason. This bit is also used to reject an invalid segment or refuse an attempt to open the connection. The sync bit is used to establish connections. The connection request has sync bit set to one and ACK bit set to zero to indicate that the piggyback acknowledgement field is not in use. The connection reply does bear an acknowledgement. So it has a sync bit set to one and ACK bits also set to one. In essence, the sync bit is used to denote connection request and connection accepted with the acknowledgement bit used to distinguish between those two possibilities. The pin bit is used to release a connection. It specifies that the sender has no more data to transmit. Flow control in TCP is handled using a variable size sliding window. The window size field tells how many bytes may be sent starting at the byte acknowledged. The checksum field provides for a extra reliability. It checksums the header, the data and the conceptual pseudo header shown in the figure. When performing this computation, the TCP checksum field is set to zero and the data field is padded out with an additional zero byte if its length is an odd number. The checksum algorithm is simply to add up all the 16-bit words in one's complement and to take the one's complement of the result of the addition. As a consequence, when the receiver performs the calculation, it has to follow the same procedure. The pseudo header contains the 32-bit IP addresses of the source and destination machines. 
the protocol number for tcp is 6 and the bit count for the tcp segment including the header including the pseudo header in the tcp checksum computation helps to detect misdelivered packets but including it also violates the protocol hierarchy since the ip addresses in it belongs to the ip layer not to the tcp layer udp uses the same pseudo header for its checksum the option field provides a way to add extra facilities not covered by the regular header any options have been defined and several are commonly used many options have been defined and several are commonly used the options are of variable length that fills a multiple of 32 bits by using padding with zeros and may extend up to 40 bytes to accommodate a longest tcp header that can be specified the widely used option is one that allows each host to specify mss that is the maximum segment size it is willing to accept during connection setup each set can announce its maximum and see its partners if a host does not use this option it defaults to a 536 bytes payload all internet hosts are required to accept tcp segments of 536 plus 20 is equal to 556 bytes the maximum segment size in the two directions need not be the same the timestamp option carries a timestamp sent by the sender and echoed by the receiver it is included in every packet since its use is established during the connection setup and used to compute round trip time samples that are used to estimate when a packet has been lost finally the sac that is the selective acknowledgement option lets a receiver and tells a sender the ranges of sequence number that it has received it supplements the acknowledgement number and is used after a packet has been lost but subsequent data has arrived that is duplicate data has arrived this is about tcp segment thank you